right, I'm researching build direct communities and sorry for my nose. It's uh, got a little pollen, even though it's raining here. But uh, just wanted to show this developer's done a great job of utilizing natural landscapes. So back here, you can tell there's a little bit of a, of a creek and terrain area, but instead of just maximizing the houses, they've spread them out and utilized that. So you have a bigger natural area in the back for the kids to play in. And it's uh, it probably cut down on his dirt work bill too. So I think that's a, a really good example of why you don't necessarily just wanna squeeze as many houses in as possible because excavation costs keep going up and it's just gonna be a lot better product at the end of the day for your renter or your homeowner uh, as much as you can maximize that. I also like how this area right here is just gonna back up to woods. There's a creek back there that houses are just gonna back up to. That's the end of a cul-de-sac. So I really uh, like this little development. I think it's done a, uh, the developer's done a good job of planning and maximizing units, but also livability factor with the tenants and homeowners. So just thought I'd share a lot of good product down here, a lot of good research, learning a lot. You can also see, because I've talked about layout a lot, this, uh, I guarantee you that retaining wall right there was not in the budget. And uh, some uh, code inspector made him do that. And so we've all been there, done that. So. Anyway, just wanted to share this. Hope everybody has a great day.